Hey, what's happening? Mike Moo here. So today we're going to take a look at a camera rig cage that I got specifically for the RX100 Mark 7 series. This will also work fine with the RX100 Mark 6 series. Uh, and there are very few of them that actually have all the capabilities that this rig has. This runs 40 US dollars here in United States. It is by UU Rig or Ulanzi. I think they're both related, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, if you're interested in getting this, this I'll have a link down below for that, uh, my affiliate link down below for that. All right, so what makes it special is that this is actually one of the first ones that I was actually designed specifically for the RX100 Mark 7. Okay, so this actually has openings out here on the right-hand side for the micro HDMI slot. Okay, so if you get a Mark VI version of the cage, what will happen is this will be blocked, okay? Because this is relatively new setting where they actually have uh, a headphone, uh, not a headphone jack, I wish, but a microphone jack up here. So you see you have a microphone jack up there and that necessitated the switch of moving these ports down here and if you need the micro HDMI out jack right there, you will fit. Now I have tried an RX100 Mark VI cage on here, which I also really liked, but uh, because I didn't have access to the ports down here, uh, I decided that wasn't for me. You can check out some links down below for that, uh, that one as well. So what I really like about this is the grip is, besides the functionality of uh, all the ports here, um, you also have this nice wooden grip. This turned out much better in person than I could have ever hoped for. Uh, it actually really helps with the grip and normally whenever I get an RX100 series I often get some sort of uh, grip attachment on here. This is one of the first times I actually got a uh, cage though because of the amazing capabilities that these recent Sony RX100 series cameras have uh, have had. Okay so up here I have actually also the same branded UU rig. This is designed actually for a uh, monitor which I uh, LCD attachable on camera monitor, but I actually use this also for uh, microphone. As you can see, it has full 360 degree movement up top and it can tilt forward and down. Uh, you want to adjust the tension on it. And uh, anyways, I really like this because without, this is one of the main reasons why I figured I needed to get the cage besides attaching stuff on it was primarily because of the addition of the microphone socket. So I have a link down below for this as well. Uh, this is a Rode Mic Pro. But on with the rest of the cage, uh, you actually have three different cold shoe mounts right here. One over here, one up here, and one over here, which is very nice. You got an airy uh, slot over here, which I sometimes uh, attach a hand grip over here on the left hand side to make it a lot more stable. As you can see, this is all really nicely contoured down here. This is an Arca compatible system. And I, since I use that for my tripod mounting systems for the most part, um, it's nice to have that automatically built in. Some other manufacturers don't actually have this. And so then you're necess necessitating you to ha have to attach another plate on here. So I like that. As well as the, st the standard quarter mounts here. Um, this is where and how you attach the rig to your camera. They include this little hex tool. I think this is two and a half millimeter for you to, uh, you just have a one screw type of mounting system. It seems to work out pretty well. Just make sure that you push it all the way and align everything perfectly when you have it, have it there. Now, uh, this does not interrupt at all anything to do with the flash. As you can see, it pops right out like so. I have had another cage where um, this was a little bit higher. So this is a little bit lower with less mounting holes, but it's sized just right for a top grip if you want to go ahead and attach one. And that is, of course, uh, sold separately. Got multiple quarter inch uh, mounting holes all the way around, which is also very useful. It gets a little ridiculous at some point when you try to mount too much on it. But um, for now, what I've, I've had primarily is what I just showed you there with the microphone and also pot potentially some other lighting equipment on here as well as uh, another grip over here using the, the uh, airy mount over here. One thing that I found interesting though is that when I have something attached right here, rather than using this finger, 
to go ahead and click the shutter release, I find that I actually just, it's better to, to just use my thumb. So that, that kind of is annoying ergonomically speaking, but that's true of all Sony cameras, not quite so like ergonomic like some of the Canon ones. So I, I find that my thumb is actually long enough to go ahead and, and press it. So I actually end up using my thumb sometimes to go ahead and press that button. And then also this awkward placed button over here. Now, if you want to forego all that, of course, you can go ahead and get the uh, the vlog grip down below and I'll have a link down below about that one. I also made a video about that, which you can actually attach down to the bottom of this as well. So overall, for $40, I'm really quite impressed by what you can get, especially considering the competition was selling some of these uh, without all these features uh, for a higher price. And this does just about everything that I want to do when I'm recording video. Of course, when I'm shooting photos, this is not ideal. Uh, it, it makes the camera a little bit bigger than necessary. My trigger finger is weird to press over here. So I end up having to use the thumb anyway. It takes some getting used to. Uh, and of course it makes the camera a bit bigger. Whereas before with my Sony RX100 Mark II series, what I like to do is not have a cage and just have the attachment grip down here. There's there's a couple of varieties of that uh, that are available that I'll also have linked down below that I like to use. And there's an official one which works just fine. I bought a lot of those over years, uh, just that this is a much beefier grip. So I think the trade-off is still worth it. And it still keeps it to somewhat, uh, somewhat compact size that fits easily in my leather side pocket that uh, I actually like to use. All right, now you might be wondering what this indentation down here is for, and I think it's just uh, just some extra space. But I've noticed that in some other cages, they actually stick a tool or a coin in here. I guess it's useful if you just need something for a, a bit of a backup. All right, so that's it for this quick look at the UU rig and uh, UU rig Sony Alpha 7, uh, so, sorry, Sony RX100 Mark 6 Mark 7 cage and it is available for $40. Check it out through my link down below. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and if not, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.